What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out Eddie Guerrero is an A plus player. There's no doubt in my mind. There's no doubt in many wrestling fans' mind that Eddie Guerrero was always an A plus player, a main event guy, a main event talent. He was what wrestling was at that time, man. Fantastic in the ring, man. He could play a heel, could play a face, doesn't matter. Overall, people loved him in the back. He was an A plus player, man. And it, you know, it, it just sucks that, you know, his his time was cut short on this earth. You know, that 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 really does suck, bro. But uh at the end of the day, man, his legacy will always live on as one of the best to ever do it, man. Like when you think of Eddie, man, you think of just someone that he may not have been the uh, traditional WWE mold, you know, but he 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 was beloved by so many that it didn't matter, bro. He you wasn't gonna hold Eddie Guerrero down, and I I'm looking forward to this video. I think this is gonna be dope. So appreciate all the love and support. Let's check this video out. Are you from my point of view? Uh, <clears throat> follow your heart. Hmm. Because if you work where your heart is, you're going to give it 100%. And if your heart's not into what you do, you'll never be happy. Back. Yesterday, we found out just how dumb the wrestling Twitter community could be when two people started to slander the name of Eddie Guerrero. The first tweet that really sparked this frenzy stated that Eddie Guerrero was a B plus player at best, and people only hold him to a high regard because he is dead. The other what? The other tweet was pretty similar because it said that Eddie Guerrero was never popular and he only became popular after he tragically passed away. And I've got to say that these are the two dumbest people in the- Huh? What are you talking about? I'm, I'm... What? What are you talking about? I, I'm serious right now. What? What? Okay. <laughs> the internet wrestling community i don't understand how someone could really disrespect a legend like eddie guerrero in fact i will change that sentence up just a little bit how could someone disrespect one of the goats of professional wrestling that is right i consider eddie guerrero to be one of the greatest wrestlers of all time facts. it's not even an argument i think it's a fact yeah, eddie facts, guerrero bro. is an important piece to the mm. professional wrestling business mm. and those two twitter accounts really Really know nothing about wrestling if they truly believe their idiotic comments the iwc made sure to come in and pour some love for eddie guerrero and we gave him so much Facts. love that eddie started to trend that night the world was talking about Facts. eddie guerrero aw and wwe can always coexist and be on the same page when it comes to eddie bro if you are a fan of wrestling and you don't know who eddie guerrero is you're new into it go check him out go check out his previous matches go check out his previous promos go check out the clips if you have and you sit up there and be like oh he's b plus at at most and the only reason why people hype him up is because he died how many wrestlers have died but none of them have even gotten to you know most of them don't get that type of legendary status even after they died even after they passed away come on now Stop. Just stop. Just stop, bro. And that really shows how much respect we Facts. have for the legend. I'm usually the type of person to believe that everyone is entitled to their own of course, opinion. Of course, of course. However, I may need to make an exception for this one because that is just wrong. Stupid. Eddie Guerrero is not a B plus player. A He's plus plus. easily an A plus player. And in today's video, I want to spend some time to tell you why. Charisma. I'm going to go through a long list of reasons explaining what made Eddie Guerrero so great, but the top reason on this list is his charisma. Mm -hmm. What made Eddie Guerrero so special is his ability to connect with the audience with his personality. There was a charm to him that could not be matched. He did so many little things that always received a positive reaction. Mm -hmm. The mannerisms, the attitude, and the facial expressions separated him from a majority of the wrestlers on the roster. He had more charisma in his left eye than 95% of the roster over the last 20 years, and that is just a fact. Facts. 
Eddie Guerrero was a master of character work. What made him legendary was the fact that he could play a lovable babyface or a despised villain. That's what I just said. I literally just said that. He could literally play both roles very well. Not many wrestlers can play both roles very well. Either they're better as a heel or they're better as a face. He could do both and you would buy in to both whenever he needed to not many people are that skilled See? but eddie made it look easy yep. he knew how to work a crowd for whichever role he was playing when he was a face he was generating the loudest positive reactions and pops and when he was a heel everyone hated his guts because let's be real the man tried to steal Rey mysterio's kid yep young dominic this is the young dominic he tried to take his own son away he was just despicable in this feud and only eddie Guerrero could do that and make it work in order to succeed in the WWE, you need to be good on the microphone. Eddie Guerrero was better than just good. He's an all-time great, and I actually think that he's really underrated in that area. Nobody really mentions how he is one of the best to ever grab that microphone, but he was. Eddie Guerrero used his charisma and character work to his advantage, but he also understood how to create and control the tone of the promo. Eddie knew how to cut a serious, funny, witty, relatable, and intimidating promo all at the same time, and that's pretty incredible if you ask me. Not only was he talented on the microphone, but Eddie Guerrero also was even more talented in when it came ring. to the in-ring work. Eddie Guerrero is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time for the in-ring matches because he understood the psychology of a match, mm -hmm. his selling was on point, he was very physical but also athletic, Eddie Guerrero is definitely one of the best technicians of all time, and there's a long list of matches that will keep his fans entertained forever. Facts, bro. And that's just basic wavy. I don't know how someone can say he was B plus at best, bro. Boys would be tripping, man. I think it's comedy and rock. people just love to be so against against the grain. It's it's crazy, bro. Wrestling is very difficult. I would say that there is a small list of people who are <laughs> actually really funny in WWE, and some of those names <laughs> include The Rock, R Truth, yep. Santino Morella, Kurt Angle, Dan O'Brien, and Kane. And Eddie Guerrero also joins that list. He was hands down <laughs> one of the funniest wrestlers of all time. Eddie's cheating antics instantly made mm -hmm. people laugh, including myself. But other than that, he always had funny segments with other people like Kurt Angle, The Big Show with The Big Show and you know, The Bathroom Incident and John Cena. Wrestling would be a lot better mm -hmm. if people had a small fraction of Eddie's humor. It's very obvious that Eddie Guerrero is universally loved and adored by the entire WWE universe. When those Twitter accounts try to slander his name, everyone, and I mean everyone, AEW fans, WWE fans, NXT fans, whatever the case may be, indie fans, they all came out mm -hmm. to talk about That's the greatness great. of Eddie Guerrero. Mm -hmm. And great. that just means that everyone loves him. You just can't not like the dude. His energy and his love was way too infectious. Mm -hmm. Eddie Guerrero is one of those people who will be loved by everyone forever. And that is very hard to achieve in the business of pro wrestling. Facts, 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 facts. A wrestler must have an iconic theme song in order to be a legend in the business, and Eddie Guerrero didn't just have one iconic banger. No, the man really had three different songs that were actually fire. Mm -hmm. The first one was Latino Heat during his early run with the WWE, and it was great. And then the second and most iconic theme song came out as well. It was the I Lie, I, I, I cheat, cheat, I Steal. I steal. That yeah. was another legendary theme song. And the third one didn't last too long because it was during his heel run in 2005, but it was also really good. Eddie Guerrero's theme songs are important because it went well with his presentation and mm -hmm. it said a lot about his character. We need to discuss the impact that Eddie Guerrero made with the Hispanic community. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's very crucial for organizations to feature diversity. There's a ton of different types of people watching at home. Eddie Guerrero <laughs> brought in a number of Spanish viewers to WWE. He was he a big draw for that community. The WWE is still looking for someone to replace him as the face of the Latino community, and it still has not happened 16 years later, because honestly, it is very hard and difficult to replace a GOAT. Yeah. 
I think the most important don't. aspect of any sport or entertainment program is a long lasting impact with the future of that field. So for instance, Steph Curry inspired a generation of basketball players to develop their game from behind the three point line mm -hmm. and the NBA has true. completely true. changed because of him. Another example is Alfred Hitchcock who inspired people to create thriller horrors with interesting plot twists. And Eddie Guerrero is somebody who's inspired plenty of wrestlers in the business today. Johnson noted that he learned a lot about wrestling when he was wrestling Eddie Guerrero and he says he used a lot of the tactics that Eddie taught him. Peyton Royce and Sasha Banks wore gear dedicated to him. Mm -hmm. Sasha Banks even said that he is the reason why she loves professional wrestling. And Bailey has even publicly stated that her heel character was heavily inspired by Eddie Guerrero. It's very obvious that the future of WWE and wrestling as a whole is inspired by Eddie Guerrero. They want to learn from the best and for that he will forever be engraved in wrestling history and his legacy will never die. From all the points that I've gathered, he I'm making the argument that Eddie Guerrero was the right total now. or the complete package, whatever you <laughs> want to call it. He's just one of the greatest of all time to do it. Eddie Guerrero is one of those wrestlers that's had a major impact on the business, and he is most certainly an A+, if anything, A++ player. There we go. And anyone who thinks otherwise is just wrong. Facts. Anyways, that is it for the video. Thank you. Mega facts. This video, number facts, is the truth. Simple as that. This video is nothing but the truth. Simple. That's it. I, he I, he said everything that I've I've always felt about Eddie. He is an A plus plus player. Always has been. Will always forever be in wrestling. Real wrestling fans' eyes. The wrestling community. The wrestling world know who Eddie is and what he was. You know what he was about when it came to wrestling he is wrestling so comment down below let me know your favorite eddie guerrero moment favorite eddie guerrero promo favorite eddie guerrero match let me know let's have a discussion nothing but just hyping up and remembering eddie guerrero's memories and, and his legacy and his greatness and his contribution to wrestling that's all i want to see in the comment section if i see any type of slander you know unnecessary slander you may you may not think eddie guerrero is one of the greatest you may you, maybe you weren't a fan of him but if i see some slander in the comment section it will get removed it will get deleted all we're doing is showing one of the best to ever do it love and appreciation man rest in peace eddie we love you down here as always and uh appreciate all the love and support road to 60k appreciate y'all kicking it with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace